John the Fearless, also known as John of Alois and John I of Burgundy, was Duke of Burgundy from 1404 to 1419. He was a member of the Valois dynasty. For a period he was regent for his mentally ill first cousin Charles VI of France. Biography Early life John was born in Dijon on 27 May 1371, to Philip the Bold and Margaret III, Countess of Flanders. On the death of his maternal grandfather in 1384 he received the title of Count of Nevers, which he bore until his father's death in 1405, when he ceded it to his brother Philip. In 1385, at the Burgundian double wedding in Cambrai, he married Margaret of Bavaria, daughter of Albrecht of Bavaria, Count of Holland and Hainaut. At the same time his sister, Margaret of Burgundy, Duchess of Bavaria married their son William II, Duke of Bavaria. To consolidate his position in the Low Countries, after cancelling his engagement with Catherine of France, daughter of Charles V of France, before his accession to the Duchy of Burgundy, John was one of the principal leaders of the French forces sent to aid King Sigismund of Hungary in his war against Sultan Bayezid I. John fought in the Battle of Nicopolis with such enthusiasm and bravery that he was given the cognomen of Fearless. Despite his personal bravery, his impetuous leadership ended in disaster for the European expedition. He was captured and did not recover his liberty until the next year, and then only by paying an enormous ransom. Conflict against Louis of Orleans John was invested as Duke of Burgundy in 1404 and almost immediately entered into open conflict against Louis of Orleans, younger brother of the increasingly mad Charles VI. Both men attempted to fill the power vacuum left by the demented king. John played the game of marriages, exchanging his daughter Marguerite for Michel of Valois, who would marry his heir, Philip the Good. He did not overlook, however, the importance of the middle class of merchants and tradesmen or the University of Paris. Louis tried to gain the favour of Queen Isabeau, and may have become her lover. After a game of hide-and-seek in which his son-in-law, the Dauphin, was successively kidnapped and recovered by both parties, the Duke of Burgundy managed to gain appointment by royal decree, during one of the king's absent periods when mental illness manifested itself as guardian of the Dauphin and the king's children. This did not improve the relations between John and Louis. Soon the two rivals descended into making open threats. Their uncle, John, Duke of Berry, secured a vow of solemn reconciliation, but three days later, on 23 November 1407, Louis was brutally assassinated in the streets of Paris. The order, no one doubted, had come from the Duke of Burgundy who shortly admitted to the deed and declared it to be a justifiable act of tyrannicide. According to Thomas Walsingham, Orleans had simply received his just deserts as he had been taking his pleasure with whores, harlots, incest, and had committed adultery with the wife of an unnamed knight who had taken his revenge by killing him under the protection of the Duke of Burgundy. After an escape from Paris and a few skirmishes against the Orleans party, John managed to recover the king's favour. In the Treaty of Chartres, signed on 9 March 1409, the king absolved the Duke of Burgundy of the crime, and he and Louis' son Charles pledged a reconciliation. A later edict renewed John's guardianship of the Dauphin. Even with the Orleans dispute resolved in his favour, John would not have a simple life. Louis' son and heir, Charles was only 14 at the time of his father's death and was forced to depend heavily on his allies to support his claims for the property that had been confiscated from him by the Duke of Burgundy. Chief among these allies was his father-in-law Bernard VII. Count of Armagnac and because of this alliance their faction became known as the Armagnacs. With peace solemnly sworn in 1410, John returned to Burgundy and Bernard remained in Paris where he reportedly shared the Queen's bed. Armagnac's party was not content with political power, and after a series of riots and attacks against the citizens, 
John was recalled to the capital, then sent back to Burgundy in 1413. At this time King Henry V of England invaded French territory and threatened to attack Paris. During the peace negotiations with the Armagnacs, Henry was also in contact with John who was keen to wrest control of France away from Charles VI. Despite this he continued to be wary of forming an alliance with the English for fear of destroying his immense popularity with the common people of France. When Henry demanded Burgundy's support for his claim to be rightful King of France, John backed away and decided to ally himself with the Armagnacs. Although he talked of helping his sovereign, his troops took no part in the Battle of Agincourt, although two of his brothers, Antoine, Duke of Brabant, and Philip II, Count of Nevers, died fighting for France during the battle. Conflict with the Dauphin two years later. With the rivalry between Burgundians and Armagnacs at an all-time high because of the shattering defeat at Agincourt, John's troops set about the task of gaining Paris. On 30 May 1418, he captured the city, but not before the Dauphin, the future Charles VII of France, had escaped. John then installed himself in the city and made himself protector of the king. Although not an open ally of the English, John did nothing to prevent the surrender of Rouen in 1419. With the whole of northern France in English hands and Paris occupied by Burgundy, the Dauphin tried to bring about a reconciliation with John. They met in July and swore peace on the bridge of Pouli, near Milan, on the grounds that peace was not sufficiently assured by the Pouli meeting. A fresh interview was proposed by the Dauphin to take place on 10 September 1419 on the bridge at Montereau. John of Burgundy was present with his escort for what he considered a diplomatic meeting. He was, however, assassinated by the Dauphin's companions. He was later buried in Dijon. His successor, Philip the Good, formed an alliance with the English ancestry family. John and his wife Margaret who married in 1385 had one son who succeed him and seven daughters. Catherine promised in 1410 to a son of Louis of Anjou, Marie. She married Adolf I, Duke of Cleves. Margaret married on 30 August 1404 Louis of Alois the Dauphin, then in 1423 Arthur de Richemont, the future Duke of Brittany. Philip's son and heir, Isabel, married at Arras on the 22nd of July 1406 to Olivier de Chatillon Blois, Count of Penthever and Perigord. Joanna, died young. Anne, married John, Duke of Bedford. Agnes, married Charles I, Duke of Bourbon. John and his mistress Agnes de Croix, daughter of Jean I de Croix, had the following child. John of Burgundy, Bishop of Cambrai. John and his mistress Marguerite de Borsler had the following children. Guy of Burgundy, Lord of Crybake, married Johanna, illegitimate daughter of Albert I, Duke of Bavaria. Antoine of Burgundy, Philip Otter of Burgundy, Lady of John C, married Antoine of Roche Baron, Baron of Bertzela Chatel. Titles 1384-1404, Count of Nevers as John I. The 27th of April 1404 to 10 September 1419, Duke of Burgundy as John the First. The 21st of March 1405 to 10 September 1419, Count Palatine of Burgundy as John the First. The 21st of March 1405 to 10 September 1419, Count of Artois as John the First. The 21st of March 1405 to 10 September 1419, Count of Flanders as John the First. The 27th of April 1404 to 28 January 1405, Count of Charolais as John the First.